Cursed episode five. Uh, we get a lot of information this episode. Uh, we start off with the Red Paladins and sort of find out that within the church, there's like a nastier, more evil rank uh, or faction than the Red Paladins. Those those dudes with the gold face, they were, they were a little bit creepy. And, you know, it was a little eye-opening that there's like a step up from where the Red Paladins are at. So uh, I don't know how much that will come into play in this uh, series, but uh, just interesting to have that out there as a potential possibility for what comes after defeating the Red Paladins. Uh, next up, let's talk about Pym real quick. So she snuck herself onto the Viking ship and the guy that she has a crush on basically sort of talks her into being the ship's medic. You know, they were just going to throw her overboard, but then she's like, nope, I'm Faye, and I can, heal, I can heal all your dudes. Never lost a dude, ever. So that that's kind of interesting. We had that little montage of her just, like, ripping arrows out of people and, and sewing up wounds and whatnot, and even being the ship therapist. And that was that was quite interesting. So interested to see what happens to Pim. Kind of feels like she's just sort of our connection to the Viking dudes. Uh, you know, we have uh, I think the guy's name is Somber. You know, I've at first I thought it was Umber, and then yeah, it's it's Somber though. That's that's the the head Viking's name. He's making a claim for the throne and also in search of the sword to add that to everybody else in the show who is also after the sword seems like pretty much if you, if somebody knows about the sword they want the sword uh merlin he's kind of captured by uther pendragon and uther gets talked into executing merlin by the queen regent uh and arbitrarily Merlin gets saved by a message coming in from Nimue to basically say that he wants that she wants to deliver the sword to him and that kind of saves his life and then we get that we end up with that little scene with Merlin and the Queen Regent where he basically implies that there well you know not totally clear but something was up with Uther's birth and whether or not he was actually the true heir kind of seemed like the queen had a had a child that was born dead and then they swapped that baby out with another baby and then uh everybody involved sort of mysteriously died and merlin sort of implies that oh by the way not everybody involved is actually dead that he's got that little card up his sleeve to prove that possibly Uther is not the true king. So that will be interesting to see how that little little plot point ends up unfolding. Uh, we we get to see Nimue and Arthur kind of start this love connection just in time for new character Gawain to show up and then kind of throw things into question for Arthur. He had basically just decided that he was going to stay, and now there's this Gawain character shows up who seems to have a deep connection with Nimue and maybe setting up for a little bit of a love triangle. Who knows uh, where that goes. And on top of all this, we have Iris, who uh, last we saw, she burns down the abbey, throws on the Red Hood, wants to join the Red Paladins, and then meets up with some Red Paladins in the forest, and she's like, I want to join. And they're like, no women allowed. Didn't you see the sign on the outside of her fort? It said, no girls allowed. Um, and then they tell her, if you want to join, you have to go kill the Wolfblood Witch. And then, of course, she kind of ends up making her making her way to Nemos. And she's she's there sort of with all our other main characters now and kind of interested to see what her storyline ends up being. You know, she's obviously going to do something, but exactly what we don't quite know yet. 
Uh, lots of lots of nice nice little threads going on in this story right now. Uh, we're gonna have to just keep on pulling them, and hopefully we end up with a pretty good show here. I was kind of the, under the impression that this was gonna be like a a single season thing, but with so many different elements going on, you know, maybe maybe this ends up being more than a one season show. But uh, until until then, it's all up in the air and. Uh, I'm just going to have to keep on watching just like you. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode and uh, I'll be back with more episode recaps later. See ya.